Hello and welcome to Typedesk. I'm super happy to welcome you here and to go through Typedesk with you today. Uh, together, we'll go through everything there is to know about Typedesk, how to set it up, how it works, uh, what's important to know when you get started, and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, I'm Mike, by the way, I'm the founder of Typedesk, uh, which I created a few years back. Uh, first off, when you open Typedesk on your computer, uh, you'll arrive on the login screen, you can create your account. Uh, one question we get sometimes is, should I set up the Mac version or the Windows version or the browser extension or can I use the web version? It's completely up to you, just remember that the desktop versions for Mac and Windows are just slightly more powerful and they allow to do more things than with the browser extension or the web version. Uh, I'll create my account with email password and my first name. Oops. All right, and we are in. Uh, first, Typedesk is asking me to invite my coworkers because it works great if you have your whole team on board uh, to share your responses. So feel free to do that right away if you plan to work with your coworkers on Typedesk and uh, you can skip it if, uh, if you don't uh, plan on inviting anyone and if you want to work on your own. I'm going to add Josh here, enter and then finish. Okay, so I'm in. Um, Typedesk, the first time I start the app, is asking me a couple of things. Uh, there's an onboarding. Sometimes you will see the keyboard training uh, show up here. I've done that before, so it's not asking me again. Uh, when it's the case, just follow the instructions to um, train your keyboard. Typedesk needs to understand how your keyboard works, so it's important you take the time to do it. And once you're done, you'll be able to do things like that forward slash email and it's gonna fill in with your email everywhere you work. Could be uh, your email client, could be uh, Slack, could be your back office, wherever you need it really. So this just this is just a, a confirmation that everything is set up properly. Um, so uh, feel free to try it out. I'm gonna continue the onboarding. Take your time to have a look through the uh, little videos and uh, descriptions here nice to get started. Okay, so that's Typedesk. Uh, as you will see it when it's completely set up, I have a bunch of responses that are set up already for me. Um, so I have a few sections here at the sidebar, which is where I'll find my folders, uh, personal and team folders. Then I have all the responses that I have on my account and then the live preview on the right side, uh, which is where you will be able to edit and see uh, your responses as they will show up in your emails, documents, etc. etc. Um, first off, the question I usually get is uh, how can I share my responses with people? First of all, if you go into settings and users, you will see here that you have the list of users that are on your plan and then you can add users very easily but by, by adding a different email here for instance. And that's how you basically add users to your plan. Uh, and then you can either share your own folders or team folders. The main difference between shared and team folders is um, your own folders, when you share them, you can decide if you want to give edit rights or not. So if I put Josh in this folder, I can decide whether I want Josh to be able to edit responses in that folder. Uh, in a team folder, uh, when you add people in, in a team folder, uh, they will always be able to edit the responses. It's a completely collaborative uh, folder where everyone can make edits to the responses. And this is great, for instance, for uh, tech support teams that need to have responses uh, up to date for everyone. And uh, it works great in, in many, many cases where you want to work together in response. So usually when people get there, the first question is, so what can I do with that? Uh, if you look in the list, there's a, a, a bunch of, uh, of uh, little yellow tags like this one, like today, lorem, try me. And those, once set up on your computer, work everywhere. So if I take an email, for instance, and I type in those quick shortcuts there with a slash, with a forward slash before them. So it's forward slash try me it's gonna autofill my contents automatically. 
So this is just a very basic example of how you can use Typedesk to boost your productivity. Um, so I have a bunch here I can try with a low-ramp, for instance. Sometimes people ask, do I have to use the forward slash? And the answer is yes, because this is ensuring that Typedesk only records the keystrokes that you are uh, actually needing for the quick shortcuts. It's, it's privacy first, and so that's, that's a great way to ensure your privacy at all times. Um, so I have a few, I have today, for instance, let's try it again, today, oops. And it's gonna auto insert the date. Um, okay, so list of responses, a very basic example. Uh, let me show you now how you can create a response. You can either use create a response or edit the current response there. So I'm asked for a name, that's a demo. So it's gonna be a, uh, location picker let's say i need to um uh, have an email where i can offer uh, a, a pickup address depending on on where you're located so here's your pickup address the thing i, I want to show is variables you can see that i have a bunch of variables available on the sidebar there are some really uh, uh, classic ones, like inserting your own first name. So, hello, this is your first name. So that's gonna be yours from the team at Typedesk, okay? Now, let's say you want to insert the uh, uh, recipient first name. Uh, in order to do that, we're gonna use another variable called text. Essentially, what text does is create a small form that you can fill, it, fill in at runtime uh, in order to build your kind of response. And that's where the variables are coming in super handy. Um, so I'm going to use text and the question would be enter the first, recipient's first name. We won't leave a, a default value and, uh, and I don't want to remember the last entered value. We, we could use there, for instance. If we don't want to enter the name, it's going to say hello there. Okay, let's try this one already. I haven't assigned a quick shortcut yet. So let, let me go through the sidebar uh, just quickly. Uh, variants um, are essentially a way to create a different version of the same response. So let's say this one, for instance, is the English version and I want a response Spanish Spanish is completely different, so hola es en español, great Spanish there. I'm going to save this one. And then the last bit I want to show is the settings. That's where you'll be able to set up the quick response shortcut. Quick response shortcut is what we use uh, with the forward slash in order to quickly access our, our response. So. I'll call this one location pick, for instance. You can add a private note and, uh, and copy as plain text, but this is detailed. So you can see now that the response is showing my, my quick shortcut, which is location pick. So if I use location pick here, Typedesk is now asking me a few questions to fill in the canned response. So the first one is asking me, do you want the English or the Spanish version? So I'm gonna go for the English one. And then it's asking me to enter the recipient's first name. That's going to be Bob. And then, as you can see, it's, it's creating those uh, responses dynamically. So hello, Bob. This is Michelle, which is a variable uh, from the team at Typedesk. Here's your pick address. Now, let's say we need to select one pickup address out of two different addresses that we have uh, in our in our store go ahead and edit that for that i'm going to use a select variable so the select variable allows you to select one or more options uh, to fill in your account response so here i'm going to say select location and then it's going to be new york or
You can allow multiple options if you want. Uh, in that case, there's only one address uh, available at a time. So I'm going to insert that, save. And now if I use my response, so that's location, pick, English, mic. And then New York, San Francisco, I can select San Francisco. And you can see that San Francisco is used in my camera spot. There are a few more variables that you can use. Uh, the gender conditional is used to say something different depending on whether this is a male or a female you're talking to. You can have a morning, afternoon conditional depending on the time of the day. You have um, your account variables and then you have other date and time variables or random value. For instance, let's say, let's say in one case, thanks a lot. And another case we appreciate doing business with you. So in that case, uh, what's great is Typedesk is going to select randomly one or the other, or you can add a third option, which is great chatting. And it's going to make your can responses sound natural because they'll be different every time. Well, save that. This time it's selected. We appreciate doing business with you. One more time. English, uh, Bob, work. And you can see that this time it's using a great chatting. So that's the essential uh, that you need to know about Typedesk. Obviously, I'm doing this in an email, but it works everywhere you do. So it could be Slack, it could be uh, a website, it could be a, a chat bot or any any other basically text input that you are using on your computer. Um, last but not least, the menu. So you can, when you click on your name, have the main menu where you can access your account, manage your users. Uh, but mo most importantly, there's the help center, which has lots of resources to help you get started. Uh, the get started page and know what's new if you need to uh, know what's been updated in the versions lately. Uh, all right, I think that's a complete tour of Typedesk. I hope you like it and uh, reach out to us and to our team if you have any questions. Hello guys, welcome to Typedesk. I'm excited to introduce our latest feature today, uh, which is called Form Filler. Uh, it's a great way to quickly fill in forms online and in your softwares. In order to demonstrate that, I'm gonna use a simple a Gmail email, and I'll use that to show you how you can um, enter the subject and the content of an email with just one shortcut. Let's dive in. I'm gonna create a new response. The first line uh, should be my subject. This is very important. So um, in our case, uh, please check out this demo. And then I'm going to use a new variable called tab key. The tab key allows you to switch from one input to the other. So the tab key is going to go to the next input on the page. And then in the body, I'm going to actually write my email. Um, hello there. Uh, Please check out this demo. Okay, so I'm happy with that. This one is Gmail demo. I'm ready to save my response. So there you go. It's, it's now ready in Typedesk. I can close it. And in Gmail, what I'm going to do is go in the subject line open type desk using either the shortcut or using one of the quick shortcut triggers that you've set up. So in my case, I'm going to use Alt C. You see my response is right there. And if I hit enter, you can see that type desk fills in the form automatically. So it works in the browser. It works in most apps. Uh, it works with variables. Uh, so that's one of the cool thing. Let's take this example just a, a step further customize this and say, please check out this demo. 
enter name, that would be uh, no default value. That's great. Okay. And now in the body, I'm going to use reuse existing variable the name. Uh, I'm going to actually set up a trigger for this one. So that would be um, GMDMO, for instance. So I'm going to save that. Close it. And now if I type in forward slash GMDMO, type this comes up. And for the name, that would be Bob. And then you can see that my subject now has a name and the content of the body as well. So it's a, an endless uh, uh, um, strings of possibilities that you have now at your disposal to uh, quickly fill in forms, customize subjects and emails. Hope you like it. Uh, let us know uh, in the chat on the website if you have any question about this and uh, enjoy.